Imagine this. It's the early Cretaceous period, and you are a raptor. Specifically, a Deinonychus. You've got sharp teeth and claws, as well as a special big claw on each foot. You're about 3 meters long, weigh about 75 kilos, and you are hungry. Lucky for you, you spot a tasty herbivore, a Tenontosaurus. You think, yep, I'll eat that. Problem is, the Tenontosaurus is big, about 7 meters long and weighing 900 kilos. And unfortunately for you, it doesn't feel like being eaten today. No problem. You brought some friends and are going to take it on as a pack. We all know this is how raptors work, right? We've seen the pictures, the dioramas, the shows and movies. Raptors hunt in packs, right? Well, what's the evidence? The paleontologist that discovered Deinonychus, John Ostrom, also excavated a site along with his team that showed three Deinonychus next to a Tenontosaurus. Pretty compelling, right? But what if we're missing something here? What if this isn't what it looks like? The word raptor comes from the Latin word rapere, meaning to seize or take by force. Nowadays, it's generally used for birds of prey. With regards to dinosaurs, the term raptor was largely made popular by Jurassic Park because of the velociraptors. The group of animals we call raptors are actually known as dromaeosaurs, Greek for running lizard. These include species like Velociraptor and Deinonychus. They were small to medium-sized carnivores that had a pair of retractable, sickle-shaped claws on their inside toes. They were fast, agile, and reasonably smart for a dinosaur. Many, if not most, or maybe even all, had some kind of feathers, and they hunted in... hmm, well... Let's take another look at the fossil discovered by Ostrom. On the surface, it looks like the three Deinonychus were trying to take out the Tenontosaurus together. And maybe they were. But there are other theories too. In 2007, paleontologists Brian Roach and Daniel Brinkman argued that we were actually looking at a bloody scramble rather than a coordinated attack. More like Komodo dragons trying to grab some meat rather than wolves working together. But both of these ideas are just speculation. How do we know which one is correct? We do know that raptors were social animals at least some of the time. Footprints in Shandong, China, surviving from the early Cretaceous, show at least six raptors all close together moving in the same direction. As a pack? A discovery was made in the Republic of Niger of multiple footprints. Some seem to show two raptors moving together in one direction before turning and traveling back together in the same direction. Let's take another look at Komodo dragons for a second. When trying to understand the past, we often have to take some clues from the present. When a baby Komodo dragon first enters the world, the first thing it has to do is run. Adults will sometimes eat babies, so young Komodo dragons will usually stay out of their way, generally up in trees. And this means they eat different, smaller food than adults. Crocodiles are also related to dinosaurs, and they will look after their young for a time, but the babies will have to move on after a few months. 
Researchers have suggested that we don't really see dietary diversity in pack hunting because in a pack, the young and the old share food. When we examine the teeth in pack animals, young and old animals are all feasting on the same food. So what can this tell us about raptors? Well, in May of 2020, scientists from the University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh, did a study examining the teeth of Deinonychus from the Cretaceous period. They also looked at teeth from crocodilians during the same time period. They found that the Cretaceous adults and small crocodiles had a different diet from each other, as expected. And for the raptors, well, they found the same thing. The small raptor teeth and the large raptor teeth had different average carbon isotope values, indicating a different diet, and that the adults didn't feed their young. Perhaps not a pack animal after all. Well, hold on. What about the footprints? Did they just happen to be going in the same direction, towards a meal, or traveling together for another reason? Well, the thing about footprints is that they may not have been left at the same time. Maybe one set of footprints was left a few hours before the next. Perhaps we just found a trail that raptors frequent. The two sets of footprints moving side by side in Niger, though, do seem like the raptors were moving together, because at points the tracks move and adjust as if trying to avoid collision with each other. But is that pack hunting? Or were they just running in the same direction? Perhaps the raptors really did just charge and mob their prey. Instead of a coordinated attack where they work together, the raptors may have just stumbled upon a herbivore around the same time and we're all just trying to grab some meat for themselves. It's hard to say for certain. Maybe we will get more evidence in the future that gives us a more conclusive answer. Uh, If you have your own theories on the matter, please let me know in the comments. I think I'm sort of leaning towards the mob theory right now, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.